Hi, my name is Margaret Peterson. I'm doing this video as part of a math project showing the different fluctuations of populations in Texas and the factors as of why or why not people were leaving and coming in Texas. So the first thing I read about on the Texas Immigration Report was the 19th century European colonial conflict, which was between the native tribes and the Anglos. And what ended up happening was there was a job shortage and a wage shortage, which caused the Anglos to actually migrate from more northern countries down to southern, down to Texas. So we did gain people from that. Another thing I read about was the Mexican Revolution, which had the Mexicans revolt from Mexico to Texas, of course. And that was another gain in population for us. Um, another thing was the boom in 1930 to 1940 as in question three and um, that actually was due to the Great Depression which had an effect in Mexico due to poverty and more wage problems um, not having jobs not having anything actually over there and um, which caused them to migrate over here to Texas um, which didn't really make much sense because it was still the Great Depression, but they still did end up having a increase in um, jobs afterwards. So ended up staying, and that's how we got most of our um, Mexican immigrants. Um, other things that we actually found out in part two of the question were different things that could happen now that would inf that would fluctuate um, populations in Texas. So one thing I thought about was Southern hospitality. We are so nice. So obviously, Southern hospitality is a reason someone would want to come to Texas, and our population would gradually increase, of course, like it has been. Um, another reason it could increase would be our weather patterns. We have very, for the most part, predictable weather patterns, causing people to actually like Texas more and to stay more. But with that would be the droughts in summer due to our super hot weather, which would cause, obviously people to leave and migrate away from Texas, so that would be a decrease in population or no reason as to why. Um, there's water shortage, some people can't handle the water restrictions we have here that most of us don't follow anyway. Um, another reason people would leave would be something like diseases, um, but diseases are everywhere, so diseases carry, so no matter what, someone would probably get it, but that is a reason someone would maybe leave Texas and migrate elsewhere, causing a decrease of maybe an outbreak or something in the future, causing a fluctuation. And that is it. Thank you so much.